Greetings everybody, let's talk about how to draw flames today. That sounds like fun, yes? So I'm just gonna do a demonstration with a Sharpie or a colored pencil, just so real bold. Um, coloring and all that kind of stuff is for a different lesson, but what I wanna help you get a feel for is the way that it feels to draw flames and the kind of motion that, um, that it takes. So just watch me do it, okay? Here we go. So I'm gonna kinda hold it like this and I'm gonna Put down these flames and you can see these look they've got that nice swoopy curve i'm also holding the pen pretty differently because i like to feel that um, smooth part and then i always kind of come in and put a little extra burny thing there so um, let's make some observations about the flames right so you've got these back curvy parts that they all kind of line up. They don't have to, but if you're doing a car, they should line up or they should uh, come out at an angle like this. So each swoop comes back to a, a certain point. Um, then each particular flame has this part. It comes to a tip, comes back, swoops again, comes back to a tip, swoops again. Um, so let's count how many swoops. We've got a single swoop, then we've got a double swoop, then a double swoop, a single swoop and a solo Bernie thing. All right, so I'm not saying this is the right way to do it. This is just, you wanna do, bear a few things in mind. If you're doing two cars, I mean two sides of a car, you wanna keep them uniform. If you're drawing it on a car, um, you want it to fit with the car and, and mold with it the right way. And if you're just doing an accessory port where it comes out of like an exhaust grill or behind a tire or something like that, you just want to um, make sure you match up uh, your flames to the right size and proportion of what you're doing. Okay, so those are the basic um, the basic look of the flame. There's all sorts of custom things you can do with it too. If we were shading, you know, we would shade, have it fade out, and then it would be a little thicker back here like that and then a little, you know, just give it some texture. Um, sometimes what people do with flames too is they just add a second um, inner line around it, like that, you know, something. And then this part would be shaded. If you're actually laying this down as paint, uh, then there's a million more steps, you know, and you would go around and pinstripe this final outline and then you'd have a fade from like bright red to orange to yellow right here and then yellow back to here or something like that. Um, there's also a lot of custom flame things you can do where you almost you have it come out like that and it's almost like a tribal tattoo flame. So there's really like no wrong way uh, to do flames. You can also have the types of flames um, where it comes in, you know, you've got a flame like that and then the next one comes in and it goes behind it like that where they overlap that's pretty cool too um, that's for advanced users but in order to um, get the flames right you just got to really get into that motion and the motion is this long swoopy kind of drunk elbow thing all right but um, when you draw it Kind of try to think out, be like, all right, I'm gonna go down like this and I'm gonna bring all my flames to a tip here. So like if this was a car and this was the wheel well, like that, and this was your tire. This is a, a extreme close up, by the way. Um, then you would wanna make sure that it's kind of fitting in with those proportions. So if this was a tire and it was coming out of the wheel well, I'd do something like this. And this is super sloppy because it's a demonstration. But here you can see, just in terms of laying it out, I've got all of my back curves kind of lining up with the angle that I wanted to. I've got it uh, coming out strategically here at the top of the wheel well, which is gonna look really nice. And I've got them all just kind of ending over here. And you know, if you mess it up too, you can always bring it out a little bit more, add a little bit more swoop to it or something like that. Or if you really mess something up and you need to go in and be like, all right, I'm just going to add like another little burst there. That's fine, too. Uh, if we want to render it, there's a lot of different things uh, that we can do if we want to render it. If we're doing it traditionally, then, you know, we would have red at the, at the very end 
kind of bring it out like that. And then bring that red in a little bit here in the swoop parts. Like that. If you were doing this with paint or airbrush, I mean, you would really need to do a lot of practice because with marker, it's a little easier than paint. Just because, um, and here I've got some different color oranges too. So what I would do next is uh, bring in the orange like that. Take your time, by the way. Don't blast through it the way I'm doing it, but Again, the shape is, is just as important as the render. We've all seen bad flame jobs, and uh, man, there's nothing worse, okay? So um, then what I would do is switch to like another lighter orange, bring that one in, like that. You can do flames in any color too. I mean, you're not limited to doing it in the traditional style. Then I would bring in, bring in my yellow, Really, at this point, with the yellow, try to blend a lot of these uh, different different ones that we were using. And then I'd fill all this out with the yellow back up into here. And then I'd go back with my lighter orange, and it's all fading at this point. Tons and tons of fading. But when I'm done, what then I would want to do when I'm sure I got the right look, then I would go back and really throw down a nice, bold, black outline. That's when I really have a chance to make sure that these lines are correct. Because before, you can just do it with a, with a pen. But now is when I'm not getting all sketchy and crazy loosey-goosey. Now is when I'm going in for a really precise kill here and nailing those lines like that. Okay? So that's kind of how a traditional flame would look. This is bad here. I obviously wouldn't want that going all the way out there. So we're just going to do a little cheat and... Uh, just paint that away. Oh, sorry, my paintbrush is currently offline, so I can't help you there. But anyway, um, practice, practice, practice. I started practicing these when I was in fourth grade, um, just in every piece of paper and textbook and binder I could get, just trying to get these swoops right. Um, it definitely takes a long time to get the feel for it, 